Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bee Company, and I'm going to be making a bracelet using Super Duo. Super Duos are a Czech seed bee, and they are 2.5 by 5 millimeters, and they have two holes. They're an oval shape, and a lot of them have some pretty finishes on that are half finished and coated. And what I'm going to be doing is using both holes of the bead, sewing through one hole first and then the second hole. To go on the sides of the bracelet, I'm going to be using something else to go in between, and I'll show you when we get started on that. And for this, I'm using Hex Cut 80 Seed Bead, uh, a Mayuki seed bead. I'm going to be doing two different colors just so you can keep track of it. And this is similar to our twin bracelet. Um, we're going to be calling this a snakeskin peyote bracelet. Um, the twin bracelet we call um, the the twin peyote. So you can also look at that. The twin bead is also a two-hole bead and that's manufactured by Preciosa. Again, this is a check glass one. What I've done so far is I've taken the point 008 wildfire beading thread and added a stop bead, an 11 0 bead onto my beading thread and I have a size 12 English beading needle. You can use a size 12 or a size 10, either will work. How I'm going to start is I'm going to start by using my single color and I'm going to do this in an even bracelet. In between my duos I'm going to put one of my eights. So I put on a duo, an eight, a duo, and an eight. I'm going to make this an even amount rather than an odd. So right now I have three beads on. One more is going to go on. Anytime you're doing peyote it's easier to do it with even count than odd. So right now I have on my needle I have four of my duos and then I have three of the uh, Mayuki uh, hex cut eight O's in between those. I'm going to take that the whole way down on my needle and let that hang out right by my my stop bead. Now because it has two holes, what I'm going to do is on the side, the last bead that I've gone through, I'm going to go back up through the top hole of that duo. So I came out of the bottom hole, I'm going up towards the top hole working towards the tail, and I'm going to pull my thread tight. What this is going to do is move all of my beads and anchor them next to the stop bead. In between here now, I'm done with my hex cuts and what I'm going to be doing is picking up one of my duos onto my needle and sewing through the top hole of the next duo. So for this whole row here I'm going to use the cream color when I've used that green tealish color the last row. I have that pulling the whole way through and I'm going to pull that tight and as you see it just sits right on top of and it creates a simple row automatically of peyote. So I put another bead on and go through the next of my green beads. Again another tan one on and through my next green bead. And I pull tight. When I get on the side here, what I can do to mask the sides is I can put on another bead and what I'm going to do is now that I'm getting ready for my next row, I'm going back to the green color and this is going to create lines of color. I sew through, I put a green bead onto one of the duos on and then I sew back through the cream colored bead. Again, sew on a green bead and then back through my cream colored bead. When I do this, it's going to start pulling and automatically again it's going to create that second row. You can do this bracelet lengthwise or you can do it widthwise. Right now I am doing it that my bracelet is going away from the tail and the four wide is going to be my size. This bracelet here that is on the side was done lengthways. So you can see this bracelet, the beads, the duos are going to sit lengthwise on the wrist. This one here, they're going to sit to the side. So it's the same concept but going on the side. One thing that's a little bit harder if you go for the full length first is the tension when you're pulling on the thread. It tends to want to curl and you have to make sure that you have the right size seed bead between the ends. This seed bead here is actually a three millimeter cube. It's a little on the large side. Um, one of the 8O seed beads is going to work a little bit better and have a little bit more similar size to that two millimeter bead and 2.5 millimeter bead of the 
of the super duo. So I'm just going to continue on. Again, another green would go on, and then I go back up through. You continue this the whole way, and then I'll show you how to end it. So at this point, I've done a couple more rows, so you can see the pattern that's occurring. Um, the white's going in the middle there, and then that turquoisey teal color. And again, once you get to the end, you just sew up through one on one side, and then the other side, when you add your other bead, you sew on another one. So one side, you're going to see your threads going around one side of the duo. On the other side, you're going to see them linking together. When I get ready to finish off, so if this was my whole project and I'm going to finish off, I finish off much in the same manner as I started. I have these 8-0 hex cuts here and I'm going to put the 8-0 hex cuts on the other side. So I finished my row and what I'm going to do is pick up my hex, sew back through my duo, pick up a hex, sew back through the duo, and then I'm going to repeat it one more time. I'm going to pick up my hex and I'm going to sew back through the duo. This is going to give you a nice finished end. I've been working a little bit with these super duos and the size 8 seems to be the best bead to fit in there. The other bead that you can use is um, two size 11 OC beads will work nicely in between there and then also the 1.8 millimeter Mayuki Cube gives it a nice little fit to work with it as well. So they're fun beads to work with. My bracelet would go in this direction and I just get lines of colors. You can mix it up, you can use as many colors as you want and then you just use a couple of the 8OC beads on the ends to connect it. If you want to know how to put on some some uh, ends, you can do a simple loop. We also have a couple other videos showing you how to end CB projects. But this one here, what I would do is use some 11 OC beads, put some 11 OC beads onto my thread, use a wire protector and a clasp, and run my 11 OC beads back. It would create a little bit of a triangle, and then sew back through here. So just to show you how to finish this off a little bit more clearly, you're going to put on those 11 OC beads. I put on my clasp and my 11 O's. What I'm going to do then is sew back through that entire row that I just showed you how to sew on those 8 hexes and pull. Anytime you're doing a clasp, you always want to sew through that again, any point that there's tension on. So I'm throwing, sewing back through all the beads one more time, the whole way through all the C beads, through my clasp. And again, I did say earlier, you can use a wire protector around the clasp if you're a person that isn't crazy about having the thread go right onto the beads. The nice thing about this toggle that I'm using, and it's a pewter toggle, is that it has a nice big hole, so it'll just move around, and it'll actually rest on my C bead and not my thread. Again, I'm going back through that last row that I did. And when I get to the side of this, I'm going to find a side thread and just tie it off here on the side. A little dab of glue and then I am done. I'll repeat this step on the other side so when I look for it I'll have the bar on one side and the toggle loop on the other. So have fun making this and playing with the super duos. They're really easy to do uh, peyote and herringbone as well as anything that you're going to use a tila for or any other two style bead. It's fun to play around with them.